Kent Wildlife Trust's Wilder Bleen project has revealed the birth of the first wild European bison in the UK since possibly the Neolithic period. And it's likely the last time a wild European bison gave birth in what is now Britain was even earlier. The Trust said, Our bison rangers were surprised to be greeted by a calf when carrying out their checks on the bison herd in September at West Bleen and Thorndon Woods. The adorable baby bison is the fourth member of the Wilder Bleen bison herd. It's added Kent Wildlife Trust and Wildwood Trust have partnered up to show how European bison can provide a sustainable solution to woodland management in South East England. Similar projects across Europe have proved that bison, known as ecosystem engineers, can restore the natural biodiversity of a landscape. Natural bison behaviours, grazing, dust bathing, eating bark and felling trees enable other species to thrive. The presence of bison at the Bleen, alongside Exmoor ponies and Iron Age pigs, will transform the woods into a lush, thriving, biodiverse environment once more and allow us to step back from hands-on management. The organisation says that part of the project will be extensive consultation and engagement with local landowners, interest groups and residents in the area. A further statement read, Wilder Bleen aims to bring transformational change through a controlled trial with European bison, a missing keystone species that is able to naturally manage woodlands. Other herbivores, including horses, pigs and cattle, will be reintroduced to the woodland to restore natural processes and create a thriving mosaic of habitats for wildlife. The project will aim to monitor the impact of bison, horses, pigs and cattle on the woodland habitats. This will allow comparisons to be made between the various assemblages to improve our knowledge of natural processes and the role that larger herbivores have within our woodlands. The birth came as a complete surprise, experts revealed. Tom Gibbs, one of the two dedicated bison rangers at the Wilder Bleem Bison Project, said, It is difficult to detect pregnancy in bison as they naturally conceal being in calf to avoid being hunted by predators. It is a survival mechanism. He added, Though it was a surprise to see that the younger female bison had given birth, it was always a possibility and we have created a care plan for the calf to ensure their needs are met. These animals are wild, so we want to remain as hands-off as possible, but their welfare is at the absolute heart of what we do. The calf was discovered on the 9th of September after its mother disappeared into the forest to give birth in a secluded location. The healthy new addition was said to be doing well and is already nibbling leaves and running around the rest of the herd. The bison in Kent provide a glimpse of what the UK's woodlands would once have looked like when first people started inhabiting the island thousands of years ago. However, rewilding projects such as this that aim to reintroduce animals like bison to the UK are not without controversy. This is because the animals may have gone extinct in the UK at the end of the last ice age, not as a result of human interference, but after environmental conditions changed and became unfavourable for bison. This has led some conservationists to question whether they should be considered native species in the way that beavers and wolves, themselves subjects for reintroduction programmes, are. Yet, despite this, there is a growing movement to return bison to the countryside, not least as a proxy for other large herbivores such as aurochs, which were found in the UK and are now extinct. Smaller than their American counterparts, European bison are better suited to living in the more confined woodlands that once stretched across much of the continent. Paul Hadaway, the Director of Conservation for Kent Wildlife Trust, said, European bison are an incredible species which were on the brink of extinction after the First World War. To think that their numbers now swell beyond 9,000 is a true testament to the commitment and dedication of international breeding efforts and, as an organisation, Kent Wildlife Trust are privileged to now be a part of that journey. The bison will continue to be monitored by scientists, including some from the Natural History Museum in London, to fully understand what impact they have on the forest. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe. And you can also support the channel on Subscribestar via the link in the description. Thanks for watching.